So when you're running your heavy day specifically because it's a lot easier to interact with people, give them the guidelines for how long that should take, how long the warm-up sets should take, how many warm-up sets they should take, what percentages those should look like, what rep schemes they should look like, all that stuff. Hey, what's up guys? Jason here. Um, we're at CrossFit Rife. Um, and what I want to, I'm doing an evaluation on one of our coaches' classes and it brought up something I wanted to, on an evaluation I did last week. And uh, it was on a heavy day and it's something um, that we'll see pretty frequently in heavy days with, with a, lot, a lot of coaches. It has nothing to do with your experience level or anything like that just more so communication and giving some clear guidelines. So on heavy day, the, the timeline, so let's say you have something set up, uh, aside for like how long that heavy day is gonna be. Let's say you block off 30 minutes for, you know, like once you get through your warm up, your brief and all that stuff, and you have 30 minutes to get that done. A lot of times what will happen is coach will be like, hey guys, we're gonna, and I do this too, I'm completely guilty of this. The coach will say, hey, I'm gonna run this out for 30 minutes and then we're gonna be done at the hour or whatever it is. But you're gonna give like a, just a big block of time. Um, and what I found to be a little bit more useful is to give some data points within that block of time to give everybody a much better understanding of like how they should utilize that time. Um, so for instance, let's say, hey, you're gonna, uh, we're gonna do 30 minutes to do some, I think the other day was overhead squats and it's whatever the sets are, it's five sets of five or something like that. Rather than just say, hey, you guys, you have 30 minutes to do these five sets of five, it could be a little bit more beneficial and people could move at a better pace if you give them a little bit more guidelines, right? So you could say, hey guys, we're gonna do 30 minutes overhead squat, it's five sets of five, so that's five sets, those are all working sets, and I want you to get five warm-up sets in, working up to your warm-up sets. And in doing that, what I would tell them is, I want you to be done with your warm-up sets by whatever. So if you start at 4.30, I want you done with your warm-up sets at 4.45. And then you're gonna do a check-in at that point with your athletes to make sure everybody is on pace. Um, but that'll give people a little bit better idea of, of uh, how quickly they should be moving through sets. Because um, if you guys have been doing this a while, you'll know what'll happen occasionally is like you start the heavy set and then like 10 minutes in there's a couple people that are done they're like I'm done and, and clearly the intent was not achieved for a heavy set of five by five if somebody's done in 10 minutes um, so when you're running your heavy days once you've gone through your warm-up you've gone through your specific warm-up you've given the the workout brief brief how that block of time should be used for the actual heavy day. Break it in, give them some, some times, and then check in with them at those times. So at 15 minutes of your 30 minute block, you're just gonna tell everybody, hey, you should be moving on to your working sets. And then 10 minutes out, like, hey guys, you should have about one more set left in you before you're done. Um, and I find that just keeps everybody on timeline and you don't get done and they're like, oh, I didn't even get to my heavy five. Or some people have just been, you know, jerking around for 20 minutes because they were done in 10 minutes. So when you're running your heavy day specifically because it's a lot easier to interact with people, give them the guidelines for how long that should take, how long the warm-up set should take, how many warm-up sets they should take, what percentages those should look like, what rep schemes they should look like, all that stuff. Um, give more guidance rather than less and what you'll find is that classes will go a, a lot more smoothly for you because everybody will understand how they're supposed to utilize that block of time. A lot of times what we'll do as coaches is assume that people know what they're supposed to do with that big block of time. And the reality is a lot of them look at that and they'll be like, well, how long is five sets of five gonna take me? Because they're not really educated on what the intent of that should be. So you wanna take care of a lot of this in your brief, but then I wanna double down on that when I kind of start that clock for like, hey, we're gonna spend 30 minutes on the back squat 
we've warmed up, we've done all this stuff, here's how I want you to use the, utilize that 30 minutes. I want the first 15 minutes devoted to your warm up sets, it should be five sets, and then at that point we're gonna move on roughly two to three minutes rest between sets from there. So um, I just think that's gonna be really useful for a lot of coaches just to get a little bit more guidance and be a little bit more clear about communication about how that time should be spent. So um, try that out, see if it cleans up your heavy days a little bit. And uh, if you have any questions or you like this comment, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. All right guys, thanks.